<laughs> hey, darling. Okay. I know you're not actually asleep. Boop. And <laughs> see, you just smiled a little bit. <laughs> sure. And now you're about to tell me that you're just talking in your sleep too. Right? I mean, I guess if you just want to keep sleeping, I suppose I'll just head back to the village. I even dressed up in everything for you. <laughs> oh, now that caught your attention, didn't it? Come on, <laughs> tell me about your stay in the Holy Empire. Well, for starters, are they overworking you, or are you overworking yourself? <laughs> Who do you think I am? You told me so much about yourself while I was still in that cursed state, and you were still healing me. So, I know just how much of a hardworking, kind, and selfless person you are. Well, too much self for your own good sometimes. I mean, just look at the state you're in right now. I mean, if I had to guess whether it's because they're overworking you, or you're overworking yourself, I would have to guess both. But... I have a feeling if we work on the latter, that it will help out the former as well. Okay? <laughs> you don't have to have lived as long as me to see just how exhausted you're feeling right now, darling. And though, I don't know, maybe you're still being restless at this hour and trying to force yourself to get some more sleep. Well, for starters, I've noticed that you're terrified of saying no to anyone. Well, except for me, that is. <laughs> I'm just teasing you, darling. But no one's going to get mad at you for saying no, okay? What if I put it this way? If you keep saying yes to everything... What will you do when you get burnt out and can't help the one person that you want to help? I'm not necessarily saying you have to decide whether someone is worthy of you helping them or not. But if you don't take care of yourself, you won't be able to help others either. And I know that makes you happy. Helping others, that is whether through your medicine or your magic. <laughs> I know you're not going to stop caring for others, and nor do I want you to. But that doesn't mean you can stop caring for yourself in exchange. Well, why not start by making some time to rest? <laughs> no, darling. That's different. Resting when you can and actually making time for you to rest are two different things, okay? How about this? I want you to decide on one day of the week that you're just going to relax. And have fun. And turn that genius mind of yours off for a bit. And just do something that makes you happy. Something other than that. I know the gratification from helping people in a job well done feels amazing. But that's not relaxing. I want you to think of something that is both fun and relaxing. <laughs> For me, that would be enjoying a picnic out by the lake in the village with my back up against the tree, 
just enjoying the breeze and the occasional ray of sunlight that makes its way through the treetops. You should join me next time you're at the village. <laughs> I know, I know. You still have at least two more years here. But all the more reason you need to find your own way to actively relax. And stop that genius mind of yours from running to the moons and back. Okay? I can see your brain freezing up trying to think of something you can do to relax. <laughs> as cute as your thinking face is. How about you just focus on me for a little bit? I don't need to be getting back to the village anytime soon. And so, scooch over. <laughs> Let me join you in bed for a bit. There we go. Now, just relax your body and focus on cuddling me for now. Letting your arms wrap around my waist. Letting your head rest on my chest as I let my fingers run gently through your hair. Massaging your scalp softly. Letting our legs intertwine and just letting all of your worries and stress melt away as your body melts into mine. Mm. Relax your face, darling. I don't know what's going on in that head of yours, and you probably don't know either. But what I do know is that it's going to be impossible to figure out until you relax. <laughs> I can't understand you very well when you're nestled into my chest like that. But yes, maybe I do just want you to stay here and cuddle with me. But is there really anything so wrong about that? <laughs> That's what I thought. Now, slow your breathing for me. Learn all the negative emotions you've been bottling up. And take a deep breath in. And out. It's okay they're not steady breaths. And they don't need to be. You don't have to put on a brave face for me. And that's not the person I fell in love with. It's the kind, intolerant person that I fell in love with. <laughs> not an emotionless tool. You can still be tolerant without bottling it up. And I know that bottling up the feelings that annoy you is easy. And avoids awkward situations in the moment. And that finds the right words. If you want to bring up something that annoyed you is even harder. So I'm not going to ask you to try and explain. And inevitably get trapped in your own head searching for the right words. Or the right answers. Hmm. It's okay. It's okay to cry. It's okay to feel overwhelmed. And sometimes, there is no right answer. And I'll be right here to protect you. And to dry your tears. It's okay to feel weak sometimes, darling. And to rely on someone else. If it helps any, you can just pretend that I'm a warm elf shaped body pillow. <laughs> or maybe, if your mind is still thinking too much still, just focus on my heartbeats and squeeze me tightly. Now, 
get some rest. And most of all, don't feel bad about resting. You deserve it. Every single moment.